How to add checkboxes to your Shopify product page. Hey everyone and welcome. I hope you're all doing great. In this video, I will show you step by step how we can actually achieve this. Uh, now we're actually going to use a third party application and it is actually a paid application. Sorry, application so we can't really use it for free. But we can just go in and test things out for free first and then if we actually like it. We can just go ahead and upgrade, but it, it does not only offer checkboxes, it does offer quite a lot of stuff as well. So to get started, you will need to just go ahead and go to add apps, and then you would want to just go to all recommended apps here, uh, Shopify app store. And we are just going to be searching for this specific application, which is text box by textify. So just go ahead and click on this one and install it it's actually you can again like i said you can just go ahead and test things out for free and then it's going to be three dollars a month for everything pretty much so once you actually install it uh there are going to be a few steps to you know uh, first you will need to add a payment method for the free trial uh, and then afterwards you can just go ahead and start the setup process uh, and you would would want to enable the app from the embeds so we just click on app embeds from the customization tab and turn it on from this section over here. Uh, this is step one. And then step two is going to be going to um, a, your default product page and go to sections and you want to add this uh, block. To add it, you want to just go ahead and add block down here. Click on apps and then you will find text box by Textify. Now you can just go ahead and add it and it's going to be added down there. But if you want, you can also move it upwards like I would do like so. So once this is done, this is the, pretty much all the setup process that you actually want to do or need to do for this to work. Uh, we can just go ahead and click on apps and click on text box by Textify. And now we can just go ahead and get started with the setup. So now what we actually need to do is you want to go to your fields but when you actually click on the app and you want to click on create field once this pops up you want to basically start, uh, select product options so click on product options and then here you would want to just go go ahead and give it a name i would just use text uh, i mean test checkbox now here you have all the fields that you can actually add whether it's going to be a text field drop down checkbox and so much more stuff i'm just going to use checkbox so just go ahead and click on that and then this is just going to pop up on the right panel here uh, which is going to allow us to edit things here so click on the pencil icon to edit the checkbox and this is pretty much how it's actually going to look like as well now you can also add one or multiple checkboxes and I will go get to that in a sec but once you click on the pencil you'll be able to see now the new settings so here is going to be the checkbox heading which is pretty much um, this right here uh, please tick the box so again I'm just going to click on it and here you can obviously change this text Oop, sorry about that so change this text and you can see on the right panel is actually going to change as we click on save later on here is going to be the name of it which is again on the top here so we can just go ahead and name it test uh, and then here also we have the checkbox one which is this is a sample checkbox you want to also change that so uh, check this box and then that's it for this checkbox if you want to add another one you can simply do so from here and you want to add the element to it so we can just add uh, don't check this one if you want to add more it's completely up to you now here we also have more options for example making this field required i will actually make it required and also you have more stuff here if you want to feel free to play around with them i'm not going to mess with them right not right now and I just click on save and you can actually see how it actually looks like now so once you're done, you can also go to the design aspect and targeting and all of those things. Uh, for example, targeting is going to be where you want to ha uh, have this appear. So whether it's going to be all products, this product, which you will obviously select a specific one and so on. I'm just going to keep it as all products and click on save. And now it should be good to go. So if we just go to our online store and we open up a uh, our default product page, it should actually appear as a checkbox 
option on our product page and it should be down here so change this text is pretty much what i did and you know we can actually check these boxes now so this is pretty much all there is to it for this video hopefully you found it to be helpful and thanks for watching